What's going on YouTube? Dad with a bike here. And uh, today we're gonna cover a few things. Uh, we're in my garage. It's actually a beautiful day outside, um, but the garage door is closed because the uh, sun is crazy bright. Um, we're gonna talk a little bit about uh, some changes that I'm making to how I'm gonna do my vlogging. Um, and then uh, we're also gonna talk a little bit about a pretty kick-ass bag that I've got uh, that I've been given the opportunity to um, kind of review, look at, and, uh, and put it through its paces. And I think those of you who are the anti-saddlebaggers on the Indian Scout Bobber, bobber um, will appreciate it. So uh, stick around. All right, y'all, thanks for sticking around. Uh, so, first and foremost, if you came across this video, YouTube sent you here, whatever else, do me a solid, hit that subscribe, like, and if you like this video and some of the other ones that I post, uh, hit that notify, and I'll let you know the next time I upload videos. I get these in at least once a week. So, why are we here? Um, a couple things. Let's see if I can kind of get these in order. Um, so, first and foremost, uh, coming very soon, uh, within the next couple of weeks, I'm going to have uh, some new helmets. I'm going to actually get the Ruroc Berserker. Um, we're going to put that sucker through its paces and we're going to do some uh, reviews on that one. And then I'm also going to be picking up the new Ruroc 3. Now if you all recall, um, back, I don't know, maybe it was a few months ago, um, I'll link it here, I did a video on my experience with Ruroc 2 or the Atlas 2.0. Uh, it didn't suit me well, um, but Ruroc reached out to me uh, and said, hey, we're trying better, come join um, this little Facebook group, um, and we'd like to get your feedback on what we're gonna be doing with the new helmets. Um, so I did, and I was you know, there when I did the launch um, last week, and I will be there when they uh, open up to uh, start buying and whatnot. Um, here in uh, actually just next week. I'm excited because they took a lot of the feedback, some of the issues that I highlighted in my videos, um, and some of the issues that many others highlight in some of their videos, and they came back and said that they had addressed them and more. So we're gonna see. We're gonna get that helmet in a few weeks, and I am gonna put that sucker through its paces, and I promise you, I am going to come back with an honest to goodness review on that helmet, as well as the Berserker. So that's one thing. Um, because of that, and because I think, I am, I believe that they have done justice and those helmets are going to be so much better that I honestly think that I'm going to be switching up how I do motovlogging. So, because the helmets themselves are super nice looking, I think I'm going to be switching around where my camera is. I'm probably not going to have it on my helmet anymore. Um, I'll probably do the type of vlogs I'm doing right now where I'm in my garage doing maintenance slash how to do things on the bike, gear review, and then when I get out and ride, that's gonna be straight riding. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do any kind of voiceovers, that's just gonna be as uh, raw riding video uh, with uh, new helmets and whatever kind of cool positions I can figure out on my camera, given that I have that new uh, Insta360. Uh, so that's all coming. Uh, I'm excited about all of that. But why we are here today is uh, last week, and I'll throw the link up here. I did a video about some really nice saddlebags that I use on um, on my bobber, as long as with some other bags. Interestingly enough, when you start talking to some of the folks that are on like the bobber Facebook group or whatever, uh, you get a mixed bag of feelings about whether or not they like saddlebags. You know, for me, it's form, function, it's I need it for when I travel. Um, a good example is next week, uh, on Thursday, I'll be gone Thursday through Sunday. I'm going on a nice long trip to Bandera. I'm going to the uh, Thunder in the Hill Country Motorcycle Rally. And I'm gonna do a whole bunch of riding uh, there. But I gotta get there, I gotta camp, I gotta pack. So, I'm gonna take this bag we're about to step into through its paces at Bandera. I'm gonna pack this sucker and we're gonna take it with us. But first, I'm gonna walk you through the bag so you guys get an overview as to what it is. 
And why I think it might be the solution for those of you who are apprehensive about wanting saddlebags, but still want to travel. So I think you're going to like this. All right, y'all. Thanks for sticking around. So last week I did a video about saddlebags and all the other bags that are on my bike and there was some feedback that I had gotten and then there's some feedback that's always on the forums that talk about I don't like saddlebags on the bobber and I get that um, but what if you want to travel well so I had the luck of picking up a bag that um, uh, to review that I think solves that problem and we're going to talk about that bag which is this guy over here this monster, monster bag. I've got notes on it. It is the Saddleman 3200 Tactical Deluxe Cruiser Tail Bag. Now this bag is pretty awesome. So as you can see, it's standing here on its own. It's empty. So it's rigid construction. So you don't have to worry about it being all floppy or whatever uh, when you put it on your bike. It's a rigid construction bag. So that's pretty awesome. It's the tactical version of the Saddleman lineup. So that means it's got all these different Molly attachments. So if I want to go strap other things to this bag, I could, for example, my 1300 roll bag. It's the tactical edition. It has the Molly straps. I can strap that sucker straight to that bag. No problem. But we're not talking about the roll bag. We're talking about this beast. Uh, so it's a pretty solid construction. It's water resistant. It's, it's of course waterproof. If you put the rain cover on, which we have right there. Um, and it has a ton of space. Liter wise, uh, I don't know. I'll put the liter like math or whatever up here um, to tell you how many liters capacity this thing is. Um, but it's a lot of capacity. So when we open it up, you're gonna see. Um, so, um, some of the highlights of this thing of just like any other Saddleman bag, you know, you've got these nice little rings here uh, for being able to attach to your bike. Um, so whether or not you want to attach it up high or attach it up low, they come with straps so you can strap it down to your rack or anywhere on your bike. No problem. Uh, when we throw it on the bike, I won't go through how to strap it down because that's pretty basic. I don't want to waste your time on that. I want to spend more time talking about the details of the bag. So uh, man, let's dive into it because this bag is pretty awesome. Um, so first things first, we'll open it up and take a look. So one of the things I like about this bag is that uh, it's a top access bag. So when I open this up, I can get to everything from this bag through here, which is super important when you're traveling because if you have quick access things, you want to be able to get to it. Um, so I have a flashlight here, so we'll take a look inside. So as you can see, it is deep in there. I mean, I am you know, elbow deep in that, um, in that bag. And then it has all, uh, a couple of different pockets on the inside uh, for organizing things. But the capacity on the inside is pretty spacious. Uh, it's got a nice little net bag on the top. Um, super, super spacious. Um, so width-wise, let me cheat and look at my notes. Um, so it's 25 inches this way. Um, and then it is 13 inches high and it's 11 inches deep. Now the 11 inches deep is uber important um, because when we put this on the bobber, you're gonna see why. Um, so we'll put a pin in that, we'll talk about why that's important. Um, so let's close this up. Look at the other pockets. And it has two pockets on the side. So it has this pocket here, which is a pretty good sized pocket. Um, and then it also has another pocket here, which allows it to kind of, you know, expand and take in more capacity. I mean, that's a pretty deep pocket. Uh, and then it also has uh, the net pocket on the side. So if you want to put a water bottle or whatever else in there, no problem, it's there. It has the exact duplicate on the other side. So capacity wise, man, that bag is, is bueno. Uh, when we talk about the construction, um, you know, I own, I own a lot of stuff from Saddleman um, and I've yet to get anything from Saddleman that has been poor in quality. They all have been top notch. 
uh, and this bag is no different. Um, you know, from the stitching, the double stitching, um, the heavy duty zippers, and the great thing about these zippers is look at the size of those zippers, right? So if you've got gloves on and you get the stuff, um, man, that's perfect. Um, so this bag is quite nice. And um, when we throw it on the bobber, you're gonna see just how well this thing really, really fits. Um, so as a matter of fact, let's do that. Let's grab this guy and go throw him on the back of the bobber. Boom. And it fits perfectly. Now, remember when I was telling you that this 11 inch this way, why it's so important is because whether it's you've got a rear rack or you have um, a, uh, just you're throwing it over your fender, um, that width is perfect for that rear fender and perfect for that rack. Um, so if you flip it over, you're gonna notice it has this material that's on the back that's this really soft material. Um, it's not gonna scuff unless you have some dust or something like that that's collected on it. So if you're not using a rack and you're just throwing this over your fender, you're gonna be pretty safe. Um, so let's slap that back on. We'll take a look at it. So it fits, uh, I mean, perfectly. And so if we look at it from the front, because the one thing that I always worry about anytime I deal with bags is I look at the drag of the bag and it doesn't stick out kind of far on the side. So you won't have to worry about this doing, taking on too much of a drag as you're riding. So if you're a rider who doesn't want saddlebags, is looking for some capacity and wants something that is solid construction, I think that right there is the, uh, is the winner. It is a nice, and massive bag. Saddleman T3200DE Tactical Deluxe Cruise Tail Bag. I approve. That is a nice, nice bag. And the cool thing about this bag is we're gonna pack this sucker next week. I'll probably do a video when I pack it uh, and strap it to the bike. And we're going to Bandera with that guy for four days, going camping. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's a, I don't know, it's a couple hundred mile ride down there for me. Um, so it'd be a good test. We'll put it through its paces and I'll let y'all know how I feel about it uh, after I get back, um, you know, having it been on the bike, dealing with trapping it down. Is it easy to work with? Does it carry all my stuff? Et cetera, et cetera. Um, so I'll get back with you on that. But I'm pretty certain it's gonna work out really, really well. Um, so I'm, Gonna do something I normally don't do. I'm not gonna take my saddlebags, um, you know, my ends, Quoyo saddlebags. I'm not gonna take those. Uh, I am gonna take this instead. Um, we'll see how it goes. I have faith though. All right, y'all, that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it useful. Uh, I'm actually really, really, really looking forward to trying out this uh, saddleman on this uh, longer ride. Um, see how it actually works out. Um, hey, Saddleman, if you're paying attention, I like your stuff. Just saying. <laughs> anyway, uh, y'all take it easy, and uh, y'all be nice to one another. Be kind. And uh, most of all, peace.